hello welcome all welcome in another important video i hope you all are doing great so let's see another command line option which is nothing but memory so now if you remember we can assign memory limits to our container okay so this is one of the advantage of using docker container because imagine you have one host machine which has 4 gb of ram and you want to run multiple containers on it if any container is using more ram let's say 3 gb of ram and other three containers will also need some ram so in that case just because of one container is consuming lot of resources other containers will not be able to work because of less memory availability so how to handle these situations so that is the reason why we mention memory limits okay so we decided okay react js application should only consume 1 gb of ram and we know that 1 gb of ram is sufficient so in that case we already know how much ram we want to allocate so that the ram will be available for other containers as well okay so let's see how we can use this option so it's not hard just like we did it for port number we need to use hyphen m and then we need to mention ram amount okay so now let's see the magic here so i know so i know react js application is going to consume certainly more ram than 7 mb but still i'm going to assign 7 mb just to show you how it works okay initially we did not face any issue because there was no memory limits assigned so by default docker do not assign any limits okay by default if any docker container is expecting 4 gb of ram docker will assign that 4 gb of ram to that container if you don't specify memory limits okay so now in this case i will assign 7 mb to this react js application and let's see how it beha behaves okay let me quickly run it all right so you can see here our application is already started throwing some errors you can see it is continuously logging some issues so i will open port number 8080 again and let me quickly launch it so now if if you see this is not loading just because our image failed and this is how we can assign memory limits to running containers now let me run this command one more time and in this case i will assign some random number but definitely more than sufficient and let's try to access port number 8080 now so hopefully this will work at this time so you see now it is started working again so this is how we can define how much memory any container can consume okay i hope you have understood so i think that's it for this video thank you very much for watching so in the next video bye